Hello book lovers! Today's episode of Beautiful Books is an update to both my Alice in Wonderland collection and an earlier episode I made on the wonderful interactive children's classic series that's being produced by Mina Lima, the creative duo behind most of the fabulous Harry Potter graphic design materials. Alice in Wonderland is their 2019 edition to this series, and it combines both Alice's adventures in Wonderland as well as the sequel Through the Looking Glass. The illustrations for Alice, our inquisitive heroine who falls through a rabbit hole and into the whimsical world of Wonderland, recast her as a brightly dressed redhead. The white rabbit is quite sweet rather than frantic, while the Mad Hatter and the Queen of Hearts look suitably eccentric and demented. Of course, one of the main distinguishing features of this series is the interactive features each volume includes. This volume has Alice with extendable arms and legs after she encounters the Eat Me Cake and Drink Me Potion, a version of the White Rabbit's house that opens up to reveal a giant Alice, a delightful Cheshire cat with a pull tab so you can make the cat disappear leaving only its grin behind, decorative letters and poetry that cleverly play with typography, a fold-out chessboard on which you can play looking glass chess and various other movable characters from the book. As usual for all the volumes in this series, the book is sewn bound and surprisingly robust, although I wouldn't give it to small children as the movable parts must be treated with respect. The mechanisms also come with protective sheets which you can keep in the book if you want to protect them, although I typically take mine out as it makes them easier to read. The one caveat for this that I'd mentioned was that the Volvel, or the twisting Humpty Dumpty, was very stiff in my copy, and it arrived new with the covering flap detached. Fortunately, this was easy to fix with a spot of glue, but it may be worth double-checking the mechanisms if you're purchasing them in a shop. Overall, it's another gorgeous addition to the series. If you'd like to check out the other books in the Mina Lima collection, I'll add a link below to my review, as well as to my Alice in Wonderland bookshelf tour if you're an Alice aficionado. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, and do subscribe if you'd like to see more beautiful books. Till next time, bye!